The Maharashtra Housing and Area Development Authority is planning a radical move to raise the income slabs that determine who is eligible to buy its homes. The agency hopes that this will allow more people to buy its homes while increasing its profits. But some critics feel the move will prevent the poor from buying a Mahada home. Who is in the right? Ashwini Priyolkar has the story. MADA or the Maharashtra Housing and Area Development Authority plays a crucial role in generating affordable housing in Mumbai. But it faces a lot of challenges such as lack of land and rising construction costs to meet its target. MADA's solution is increase its profit by increasing the income slabs across the four income categories it caters to in Mumbai region. Government of India has changed the income norms for all four categories. The first is that economically weaker section, lower income group, middle income group and HIG. These income groups of different categories of people have been finalized by Government of India in their Prime Minister Awas Yojana guidelines itself. We are exactly an in total finalizing uh, the guidelines which Government of India is going. So what are the new proposed revised income slabs? For the economically weaker section, it is up to Rs 25,000 per month. For the lower income group, it is between Rs 25,001 to Rs 50,000 per month. For the middle income group, it is between Rs 50,001 to Rs 75,000 per month. And for the higher income group, it is above Rs 75,000 per month. MADA hopes this will allow more people to bid for home this increasing its revenues. But experts feel it may end excluding the very people the agency was set up to help. The only uh, disadvantage of that is the extreme entry end or, or the lowermost end which is economically weaker sections EWS. There we might face some challenge of uh, people not able to afford um, that new price band. However, MADA has defended the move calling it an inclusive one. It is for the benefit of the uh, citizens, you see, suppose you or me or anybody is there whose income slab has gone above, say, from 15,000 to 25,000. If we go by the old norms, he will not be in a position to apply for economically weaker section house. In fact, he is now covered in that. While that may be true, experts say MADA's priorities should be on attracting more people by building quality homes than through number juggling. MADA has to build good quality, you know, basically MADA houses have been uh, blamed so far because MADA's quality in the good old days has not been to the satisfaction. With rising input costs, MADA needs to cross subsidies by using the profit it receives from the MIG and HIG groups for the construction of affordable homes for the EWS and LIG groups, which is why increasing the income slab might just make more sense. But as experts have pointed out, the agency should also look at other means to raise profitability as well. In Mumbai, for Ashwini Priyolkar, Ashmika Singh for NDTV.